Welcome to Milky Way Kiwi and how to find Matariki in the morning. Kia ora from Wellington. So the sky in the morning is a bit brighter than it is in the middle of the night so it's a bit harder to find stuff so you can really only find the bright stuff. Now we're trying to look for Matariki in the sky. The sun is rising and the sky is getting lighter. Matariki will be in the brightest part of the sky. It's harder to see the stars as they're very close to the horizon. And they're quite close to the sun. So we start by looking for the brighter stars as markers where to have a look. First we look for Raijo, which is also known as Poanga in Māori. And it's about a hand width above the horizon if you stretch your arm out at full length. Don't confuse it with Sirius. Which is another blue giant. Takurua, though you still need Sirius Takurua for the measurement. Because going back to Rigel, we want to see these three stars underneath and they line up nicely with Sirius. These are Tautoru or Orion's Belt. Now look to the left of those three stars, about the same distance, and you'll see this little red star. Don't confuse it with Venus, the other bright star there, which is actually a planet. That's not always there. Now, to the left of that red star, about one fist width, you will see Matariki. And remember, all these measurements, we make them at arm's length. So to recap, first of all, we're looking for the bright star that's high up, which is Rigel. Blue giant. Then Tautoru, the three stars, Oran's belt. Line them up nicely with Sirius. Takurua, another blue giant and then looking to the left about that same distance you'll find this red star and then one fist width to the left of that red star you'll find Matariki. Now this little graphic of the night sky slowly shows how the stars change each morning about the same time. And what we'll eventually see is Matariki appearing. Of course, the name Matariki is only given to the Pleiades here in New Zealand in the morning in June when it marks the Maori New Year. Other times of the year, the same beautiful star cluster is part of other asterisms. And there you can see it rising now with the cluster Hades next to it and then Orion's belt just a little bit along from it. So this is the kind of view you would see if it was at night time and there were lots of stars in the sky, rather than the morning where you'll only see the bright ones. The beautiful thing about it is that the three stars of Orion's Belt and Aldebaran and Sirius will be almost parallel to the horizon and so will be the Pleiades, Matariki. They all line up really nicely, which helps a lot in trying to find something when it's so bright. And this happens in the morning sky. We call this the heliacal rising of Matariki. Now, here is the cluster close up, and we're going to fly through it. You can see it is a whole lot of giant blue stars. Now, of course, these stars are ridiculously big because they don't look like this at all for the real thing. They're light years apart. But to illustrate the relative sizes of the stars, we made them huge. Some of these stars are spinning so fast that they're squashing up a bit as well. We say that the Pleiades are hot, young and blue and they like to dance. So clear skies everyone and good luck in finding Matariki. Clear skies.